welcome to subramani <clears throat> uh, i'm going to reply to some of the questions which people have asked so first of all uh, many people have uh, wished me for guru purnima thank you same to you and uh, i keep saying that uh, i'm a jagat guru uh, vishva guru jagat guru whatever see uh, when uh, shankaracharya was asked why do you call yourself jagat guru so he said uh, because the jagat is my guru this is such a beautiful way of saying things you learn from every, you learn from a tiger you learn from a buffalo you learn from a lion you learn from everything that you see right every person you meet every client you meet every uh, student you meet every reader every viewer everybody teaches you something so jagat guru means the jagat is my guru this is how he said that so i would like to repeat what shankaracharya said uh, the jagat is my guru there is so much learning that one can do and once you keep learning then you are a guru right uh, another question which people have asked is uh, this question see i want to tell you that asking very long complicated questions just means that i can get one more topic for making a video my advice is going to be pretty useless for you because i just don't know you i know the topic like look at this question uh, i am a retired government uh, servant i um, can shift 20 lakhs from my mutual fund portfolio to the uh, proposed new products that is the new asset class uh, i get about uh, 15 lakhs investable surplus a year uh, i could be a uh, could a part of this be uh, added in uh, as a lump sum with investment in these if the goal is wealth creation with an investment horizon of 10 to 15 years for a grandchild fantastic question what it means is you need a financial advisor you cannot seek such advice online simply because i just don't know you right so how much of uh, risk taking ability you have what you want to do what is this child what is this child going to study there are just too many imponderables do you need to <coughs> put money in this new asset class i don't know because uh, the new asset class is still in the discussion stage people have just been asked for their views how will it turn out how will uh, nirmala madam tax it after 2 years 3 years we have no clue what will happen right so right now there is nothing which i can say even about the product forget about you so don't ask these kind of questions it's not going to help Uh, you at all i am not competent to answer because i am also worried about the regulator saying who is this guy why is he answering such complicated questions online does he have a license to uh, does he have a license to shoot does he have a license to fly does he have a license to drive because unless you have all those things you cannot talk about these uh, uh, kind of complicated things online so no i don't have a i don't have an airline license i don't have a pilot license i don't even have a driving license now so no no you're talking to the wrong person so sorry but uh, i can't really add too much value uh, <clears throat> another person says p2p lending gives me 6% at best and interest income is taxed at my marginal rate uh, re- marginal rate of taxation which is about 20% this makes an effective interest re- return of 4.8% and the default is about 2% that makes the entire venture taxable at 2.8% my savings bank uh, rate of 2.76% give or take uh, uh, sorry my post tax return is 2.8 which is very close to my savings bank uh, return <coughs> it gives me the satisfaction of touching other people's life that's all uh i agree and i don't take any risk in the debt portion of my portfolio why would i do p2p lending or anything like that i'm very happy putting money in uh funds like nivesh laksh where i have got hold your breath on a one time basis i got 15% and on a sib basis i got 12% so i guess a lot of the portfolio appreciation is over but of course when interest rates go down there will be more appreciation right so i put money in a gilt fund and i've got good returns why would i take uh, interest rate risk is something which i can live with but why should i take any other risk in my debt fund i don't take so i don't uh, uh, i don't uh, do p2p lending and i don't think it is necessary for anybody to do p2p lending but it's your call a good way to save for ta- for hindu families is to form a huf you can shift your investments under huf so as not to increase the salary income tax 
uh, I have my pluses and minus on this because ultimately you are going to pay tax with and if it is a capital gains tax you are going to pay 10 percent or 12 and a half percent or 20 percent whatever uh, whatever rates be so it does not really matter to me I am not very impressed with this because tomorrow the government is perfectly capable of saying uh, HUF which has been formed will not be valid so are they capable of doing this perfectly capable of doing this so don't bother um, gold is the best that is asset class and recognized in all such country all countries but please understand when you adjust it for the dollar rate when you adjust it for inflation it's not a great asset class but I have no objection to that depending on how much money you have and how much you wish to allocate to gold. Uh, I prefer buying gold through an ETF and uh, through say uh, SGB. I also have some physical gold uh, which is uh, lying in a bank locker. So all that put together I have enough exposure to gold. I don't want more than that. Uh, happy Guru Purnima. Thank you very much. Thank you. As a doctor, do you, as a doc, uh, I had made a video for doctors saying uh, why you know, doctors want a simpler life. But uh, here one doctor has said during my residency straight I have done 60 hour shifts. 60 sounds pretty cheap. I know doctors who have done 24, 36 hours but 60 hours of not sleeping can be almost fatal. I don't know whether it is good for doctors to do this. Maybe they should sit and catch a nap or something like that. But this is going to take a toll on your health. But this is very common. Many doctors my age would have done this. I do not know what is the situation in hospitals. Now I am not talking to the young 25 year old doctors. So I don't really know the position there. Thank you Guru Purnima. Happy Guru Purnima. Uh, so somebody is asked uh, what about the health risk in your 20s in 20s there is accident risk health risk in 20s should not be there unless there is some congenital uh, defect oh, that i wouldn't know but otherwise uh, just getting simple medical insurance should be enough uh, so doctors i had still done a video saying doctors should not buy a house i still stick to that doctors should buy a place of work uh, from where they should not be thrown about it's okay to change houses none of your patients know where you live they don't care uh, pranam guruji and pranam guru purnima 10 lakh single shot uh, uh, is this new asset class is uh, 10 lakhs and somebody said 10 lakhs is high in a country where for people to half the population doesn't have money to eat and uh, 80 crore people need the free grains that the government sends anything is uh, high and anything can be low for him 5000 rupees per month if you say is the minimum that could be too high for some people he or she is looking forward to 500 rupees per month so i'm not getting into that controversy but yes these kind of things are available happy guru purnima i want this book that reminds me these books are here just for fun okay just for display even if somebody a good friend wants a copy i can't give i've left with only three four copies and i think i should have it uh, the publisher cnbc is out of uh, printing business i have to now look for a publisher to print it uh, i have to be sure that i'll get paid and it'll get done properly so i'm not too keen to do it so that's it uh, an old dog cannot be trod new things so I don't want to do things like self-publishing uh, so that's the end of my book uh, sad end but uh, that's the end the history has already been written and like uh, Manmohan Singh says I hope I get judged better uh, so I did one uh, article on uh, I did one video on uh, reducing taxation it's really uh, hilarious what all things people say that you can do this and reduce taxation uh, don't believe it talk to your chartered accountant uh, optimal uh, get your uh, salary uh, negotiated in such a way that you are optimally priced but please believe me after about 25 lakhs rupees of taxable income does none of these really matter and uh, if you're already at 50 lakhs of tax paid or tax payable then again nothing will matter don't worry about the day-to-day -day changes with uh, Nirmala Sita Raman keeps making in your life in the long run you will absorb all that sound is very low that reminds me when people say sound is very low it could be an old video 
Why do I put up old video? Because when I put up this video, maybe four years ago, I had 500 subscribers. Should I have 60,000 subscribers? Chances are it will reach more people now than you would have reached earlier. But yes, there could be problems like audio, etc. Because uh, maybe the mic was not good, mic was a little far away, whatever happened, right? So those uh, things would be there. But still there would be old videos and which I am going to put up pretty often. And if possible, please share it. Thank you. Yeah, people ask me to make videos in uh, Hindi and other languages. I do make them, uh, but it can't be as uh, frequently as I make English videos. Thank you.